Hey everybody, this is Dr. Crawford and I'm coming to you once again, finally here for week number eight of Education 604. I want to congratulate you. You guys have made it to the finish line, or at least almost to the finish line. And I know it's been a challenging term for some folks. It's been really bad weather in a lot of the United States. and I know that's been an issue for some folks, but I want to commend you for making it this far. And I want to spend a few minutes with you now here at the end of the course just talking about how to finish well talk about the, the various things that you'll have to do for me this week in order to uh, finish the course. So I'll be looking over at another monitor here for a few minutes talking about some things. Uh, you have a, quite a good list of things that you need to accomplish this week. You need to do discussion board number eight, your last discussion board. There's a final exam that you will complete online. You'll need to do that as well. Uh, you also need to uh, do the final uh, portion of faith, freedom, and the public schools. And you're going to submit your cumulative notes for all eight weeks at one time in one document. So you'll put all your notes together into one document. You'll upload that to the link uh, in module number eight. Uh, in addition to that, uh, you need to uh, finish your final paper. And that's what I want to really talk to you about is your final paper because this one is a real doozy. There's a lot of things to pay attention to on this paper. So first of all, it's a six page paper. It's going to give describe to me your personal education philosophy. You may use first person. You can do that in this paper. Uh, it needs to be formatted to APA standards. So I've kind of along the way hinted at a few things, particularly uh, how some of you have uh, done sourcing and referencing. Uh, it's not been quite to the APA standard. Uh, so you'll need to pay attention to all things APA on this paper. So the margins have to be correct. You've got to use the right font. You've got to use the right size of font. Your headings have to be correct. The spacing has to be correct. Everything's got to be right, and so there's a place on there for me to comment on all of that. So if you don't know APA, this is the week to brush up on APA. So let me talk about the components of the paper. In addition to the six pages of text, I need a title page, I need an abstract. Now the abstract uh, is a document uh, that is a standalone page. It's going to be, you know, 100, 150 words. Uh, be sure you include a list of keywords and give me that list in APA format. Uh, it is very common, very, very common, that students will not include keywords as part of the abstract. But that's part of an abstract. That's part of the what goes into electronic databases whenever dissertations and theses and everything are published. So we want to do it right on the on the papers as well. So uh, pay attention to that little detail. Now the the body of the paper is going to include an introduction. It's going to include a section on worldview and philosophy of life. It's going to include a section on philosophy of schools and learning. It's going to have an educational practice section, a teacher and learner relationships section, a diversity section, and a conclusion section. Now, let me talk about these sections for a moment. Your paper must use headings. Okay, You must use headings. And your headings should reflect every one of those sections I just listed. All of this is in the course instructions, in the assignment instructions. Okay. So do it exactly as the instructions uh, call for. The number one issue I have with papers uh, and poor grades come from not following directions. And let me tell you how this deal works. Uh, you're going to submit this paper to me in a couple of ways. I'll talk about that in a moment. But when I grade the paper, I have to grade it on a strict rubric. And the rubric is divided into these sections. So your paper has to be divided into these sections as well. So each section will have a heading. Be sure you format that heading according to APA. I, I get all kinds of things other than APA where the headings are left justified, they're not bold, or they're underlined, or they're in all caps. None of that's right, okay? APA calls for first level headings to be centered and bold. That's it, okay? Um, second level headings are left justified, okay? So you, you've got to do it exactly the way APA says it, all right? So once again, pay attention to APA. So you'll do all of that. Now let me give you uh, uh, something else that I'm going to be looking for that you have to give me that is always seems consistently absent when it comes to these papers. In your, in your worldview and philosophy of life section, I specifically am going to look, look for a discussion on epistemology, metaphysics, and axiology. That's part of the instructions. I have to look for that. So I would say probably over my seven years of teaching, at least 50% of the papers I get, at least 50% don't talk about axiology, metaphysics, and epistemology. So you need to talk about that. I, I'll know which students listen to this video by the ones who don't include that and thus lose 
a chunk of points. So I want to help you. I, I, I want you guys to have the best grade possible. I want you to rock this paper. Uh, and so I'm just telling you things that I have to look for and the very common you know, errors that I've seen through the years. So if you do all of that, uh, give me a reference list at the end that's spaced correctly and formatted correctly, you're going to do so well on the paper. I promise you, you'll do really, really well. Just pay attention to the instructions. Now, let me say one final word about how the paper has to come to me. You must upload the paper twice. Let me say that one more time. You must upload your paper twice. The first time, you're going to submit the paper to me through SafeAssign on the Blackboard website. Now, let me tell you what that does. That is how I will check to make sure you've not plagiarized your paper. It's going to compare your paper to a database full of all kinds of other papers. So um, be sure you do that. I cannot grade the paper if it's not been submitted to SafeAssign. The second way you'll submit the paper is to live text. Now that's a, an account that you should have activated outside of Blackboard. It's a separate company. You'll go to your live text account. It's linked to this course. You upload the paper. Now that is how I grade the paper. I grade the paper through live text on a rubric. So you'll, when it, this is all said and done, you'll be able to go back to live text, pull the rubric up, see where you lost points, see where you, and I'll comment on it and everything. So it's really, it's really pretty cool. Keeps everything nice and neat and simple. Liberty requires this as part of a capstone project related to accreditation, so it's got to be done this way. So here's the way it works. If you don't upload to both places, I can't grade the paper. Every single year, every single term, I have students that fail to do this correctly, and they get a zero on their final paper. It's a big mess for me, for you. You have to go through an appeals process, paperwork. It takes a lot of time, and it's just unnecessary, okay? So please do it correctly, all right? Um, I, if, if it's not done correctly, I'm going to send you an email. Uh, I had a student last term. She failed to upload to, uh, to uh, SafeAssign. She did it through live text. I knew she did the paper. Everything was great. I sent her an email on Sunday as soon as it didn't go through. Sent her one on Monday. Sent her one on Tuesday. And as I said, going back to the beginning of the course, you need to check your email all the time. Finally, the, uh, Wednesday came. Thursday came. The deadline. I posted a zero. She checked her email like two weeks later. Saw a zero, freaked out, wondered what was going on. It was a big, big, huge mess. It was Christmas break. It was just a mess for everybody. So, you know, we can avoid all of that by just doing it exactly the way the instructions say to do it. So, I hope I don't come across sounding harsh on all that. Um, it just creates problems when it's not done correctly, and I want you to do well. I really do want you to do well. So, these are just the common things I've seen students struggle with. Hopefully, this video is helpful. I'll commend you for making it to the end. You know, I know a lot of you guys are balancing out life and family issues and work issues. And on top of all of that, you've layered in a graduate degree. So you're really to be commended. I've been there, I've done that. This is exactly how I worked on my doctoral degree. Uh, and so uh, I, know what you've, I, I know what you're going through. So I'm praying for you. Pray that you finish strong. And I look forward to reading the material you produced for me this week. God bless you. Have a great week and have a great pursuit of your educational goals here at Liberty University.